Hey everybody, Marsman back at you. Um, I know in the previous video I was showing you how to go about um, uh, utilizing the service test mode on the Carrier Comfort Link uh, controllers and how to go ahead and test each compressor uh, via the Comfort Link as well as uh, check pressures uh, without even having to hook up a set of gauges. The uh, only other thing I wanted to show you here um, on the Comfort Link controller itself, if you're in run status and you hit enter, hit view, this will give you your entering water temperature, which is currently 50 degrees. And then if you hit escape, it'll show you your leaving water temperature, which is 41 degrees. Um, I don't know if I showed you that earlier, but we went through our service test mode, our temperatures, our pressures. Um, pretty easy to use. Um, but it also, uh, I wanted to show you on the Comfort, uh, on the Carrier Motor Master, um, if you are working on it and you're not really 100% sure what a previous technician had entered um, inside the Motor Master VFD for the condenser fan motors, uh, say they went in, just started pushing a bunch of buttons and weren't really sure what exactly they were doing and you show up and you're like what happened here there's a ton of parameters that are changed i showed you how to log in to the motor master um, and access those parameters so i'm going to show you one more time how to uh, go inside log in the motor master enter the password access the uh, parameter for factory default settings which will basically blow out any parameter that a previous technician had uh, stored in the VFD that may not be correct and you just want to start from scratch. Uh, again, it's very hard to see these, but what you want to do is hit mode. You'll see the two zeros with the flashing dot at the top. What you want to do is scroll up and our password is going to be 111. Once you've uh, reached 111, go ahead and hit mode again, and then that'll bring you to the parameters page. The first parameter you're gonna see is P01. In order to access the factory default, you would have to go to P48. Once you get to P48, um, that's your factory default. So right now it's at five. And what you want to do um, once P48 on the Motor Master, um, if you pull up, I, I would highly recommend that you pull up the booklet on the Motor Master. But when you're accessed in P48, refer back to the uh, uh, manufacturer's default specifications, which I believe is on table five um, under the Motor Master and uh, you have uh, different options, which are one, two, and four, which I think are uh, typical for these type of units. Um, so you'll go ahead and select which one's best for you, um, at which default you wanna use. If you wanna do a full restore or reset on the MotorMaster itself, go ahead and choose which one best suits your needs. Um, so that's it, hopefully, uh, Hopefully that helped you as far as factory default settings on that motor master itself. Um, always remember, the first thing you're going to do is hit mode. Uh, that'll bring you to zero, zero with the flashing dot. You'll then scroll up until you enter your password, which is 111. And then that'll allow you to access your parameters. Um, and then just use the up down arrows to access which parameter you're trying to find. And of course, uh, again, I highly recommend that you uh, you pull up the book for it so you know what you're looking for. Slightest mistake could uh, could put you in a big, serious position on getting this thing operating properly. So, uh, once again, Smars Man, hopefully this helps you out with these Motor Masters uh, and Comfort Link controllers. As always, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Be safe. I'll talk to you soon.